Okay, quick tutorial on how to connect to a VTX using SpeedyB TX800, taking that from the box. Okay, so the only difference between this TX800 and another VTX is it actually has a heat sink. Okay, so that's the heat sink on the top, taking it off, the insides are normal, so I'm just putting it back on. So you have the uh, antenna port, and then you have the JSD connector. The JSD connector just makes things much easier, you just plug it in. So now, uh, but I'm going to teach you how to solder it on. So you have the 5 volt, you have the ground, you have the video, you have the IRC tramp, which is Immersion RC protocol. Uh, essentially some same as smart audio and connect that to the TX of the flight controller and you have the P ground and 3.35 volts and that P ground and 5.35 volts is really to solder on to the flight controller to just power on to the camera so then you can get the lowest interference so this is the solder pads you have but you really have to worry about the first four which is the ground 5 volts the video and the smart audio or ISC tramp so I'm going to show you how to connect to the SpeedyB F7 V2 but rather than muck around with solder and wire and confuse everybody I'm just going to show you on screen so let's go all right, with the JST connector, it's much easier. Just connect it to the port, and then on the other side, most of the time, you're going to have to solder to the flight controller. So remember the four wires, but now I'll show you how to solder on both sides. Okay, let's now connect the video wire. And you typically, I like to use always uh, be consistent with the yellow with the video. So it's video out from the flight controller and video into the VTX. And then next, now connect the um, IRC tramp, which is the green wire going to the T connector, uh, T pad or the TX pad on the flight controller and let's connect the ground wire alright so the ground wire is uh, black goes to black and then last but not least the red which is what we connect to for the power and we connect the 5 volts of the VTX to the 5 volts of the flight controller so next you're going to connect the remaining pads to the camera and you're going to connect the antenna to the antenna port and you're good to go. Once you have everything soldered up, you're going to have to set it up in beta flight and especially important is the VTX table. So the way to do the VTX tables, you go to the SpeedDB website, you right click the USA JSON. So in Malaysia, we use the USA and then you save it on your laptop. You make sure you remember where you actually have it, which folder you have it. Because then when you enter beta flight, you are going to then uh, try to find that same JSON file. But before that, remember which uh, TX pad that you soldered on the IRC tramp wire. So in this case, I have it on UART uh, 3. Okay, so I'm enabling uh, IRC tramp. So now the VTX table is not set up in the VTX tab. I'm going to load my file, find where the JSON file that I previously downloaded it and then I'm just going to click and open voila so now I have all information under the VTX uh, tab I can now set my channel I can now set my uh, power and I can now set when my low power disarm is on all right so that's gonna be it thank you